How's it going, everybody? Alex from Bushcraft get back. I'm trying to deliver this message, make it clear and precise on the way I'm trying to deliver this message. This is a video about how men are weak. Been on YouTube for 14 years, and on these 14 years, I noticed that when women start a, a YouTube channel, because it's 90, 100 percent of views are coming from men, so subscribers and people that have the app on their phones are mostly 100, 90 percent men, maybe 80 percent men. So, but I noticed the the, the people that started um, channels on YouTube that were the ladies that were starting YouTube channel on uh, on YouTube, they were conservative Christian valued women. So they started YouTube channels, and it's amazing. All these outdoors women, they have amazing content. Like to make a woman jealous, it's amazing. They sew their tents. They make amazing food. They make amazing shelters. Veronica outdoors always have her nice hair, and she's. I mean, these people like these girls. Married woman, Alex Outdoors. I didn't understand why. Yeah, it's a business trend to put a woman online to make videos. And I find it a little bit cheesy. And, I, you know, putting a woman, your wife out. So, so, I feel bad to see my, I would feel bad to see my wife out there, like, but attracting men because of the sexual aspect a lot. And, not, like, it's, it's, I, I don't know. But it, finally, I understood that conservative Christian women are doing really well on YouTube because they're stepping out of the box and they're showing that women too can do it. It's just, it's amazing. I mean, uh, crazy. But on the other side, uh, let's say I uh, have a 14 years YouTube channel and I talk to a lot of men. The only question I have for men is how do you go in the woods? They don't want to hang, you don't want to hang out. Um, I, it could be the four by four, um, uh, you know, off-road guys. It could be somebody that just want to go out camping. Nobody, nobody can have a conversation with me to do something because of right-wing info wars. You don't chop your penis. You don't want to pay more taxes. You don't hate Trump. If you hate Trump, you're an asshole. Uh, I mean, come on. If you know, if you don't want to be forced to take things into your body that you're really not sure about and lose everything. You know, real men talk about these issues, so that's why I notice men are weak because they're gonna they're gonna lose everything if they if they start talking about these these issues on a regular. Like they can't, we cannot have a conversation anymore, like with guys, because they want to keep their image. And just as an example, YouTube channel, put a guy on on the spot, help make videos with him. Now he starts his own channel. Wow, that's pretty good. Now he starts his own channel. So I make a video with him. He barely has 600 subscribers. Next thing you know, I have 5,000 views on the same video and he has 105 views. I'm not complaining. That's amazing. He's a starter. I mean, I just made, if it was like easy like that for me, it'd be amazing. Then I noticed all the videos that he had a lot of views with was with me. So the guy never talked to me anymore. And he said that this channel was not meant to have a good quality channel. He didn't want it to buy a new camera and keep the old phone he had. Because I said, change phone or get a new camera. Didn't want it to do that. Didn't want it to invest to have a better quality. He says it's for his family. Next thing you know, he starts selling fucking knives on YouTube. So weak man again, create weak times. Weak time creates strong man. Strong man creates uh, uh, easy times. Easy times create soft man. So his kids are going to be weak. My grandfather came from the ditch in 1913. Was able to build a company, a many company, move all across the, the, the province. A welder, a builder. He was basically the engineer to call in the city for if anything happened, even if there was anything. He was building anything, water, ex uh, 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 anything from water, electricity, from from um, mills to everything. He had the skills to do anything. Okay, and he moved from one place, delivered milk, built a, 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 a milk delivery um, company. He, my grandfather, amazing, but he started from zero, nothing. He was working as a as a driver for the embassy of Spain. That's where he met my my grandmother. She was a maid there. And that's how they, he was a delivery, I know he was a chauffeur. He was not a delivery, I think he was a chauffeur. Uh, for the, so I mean, so that created a weak man because he provided so much that my father was more going on the intellectual way and it just screwed, it screwed, screwed up. Like uh, the money that my grandfather saved went to my father's and then he just, it's gone because he never been through shit. Now I'm going through the same phase as my grandfather. I'm coming. He had to do it when he was like 10. But now I'm doing it when I'm 
30 and now I'm 30 or 40, you know, like it's, it's very hard. And I noticed that now, I, uh, as soon as guys get it easy, it creates weak men. These Joe Rabinet, these Billy Ryu. And I got to tell you the truth, okay? The reason why people love going in the woods is we're so fucking jacked up. We're fucked up. We're living through so much stress, so much fucked up shit that we're developing uh, uh, traits of character that we want to eliminate from our life because we're reacting certain things a certain way because we want to... We're, we're, we're basically jacked up. Anybody. Woman, man. So that's why I see like... When I see a woman come into the woods when she's, let's say, an employee for a, for a forestry company and I see her tense like that and she has a mental problem, she's on, she's in, I know that I can't look at her in her eyes. I can't do anything because she might have a prejudice against me. It's way better that I just ignore her until the last days that she's in camp that's to leave. So then I can just say, uh, how are you and everything? Because that's when they're, they're, they're calmer. And I've seen that a lot and most sad but i reacted like a champ you know like you know why a man would be weak one day a woman came into a, a forestry camp she sat in front of me and i told her i was i made four thousand dollars in two weeks but in, in that there's like i paid for gas and stuff okay so i mean i made four thousand and more for forty two hundred dollars in two in two weeks okay five ten days okay so i showed her that because she was planting with the guys and i said there's always a way to plant to, to, to make money but maybe the way you're thinking the way you're acting and and the, your mindset is not uh, really focused on production and making a lot of money which i know girls can do so i'm like girls all you have to do is put your mind to it and that's what you can make and i th maybe she was a, she would have got attracted to me because i can provide like let's say she wants to go to a restaurant you know let's say she wants to go to a restaurant you know with uh, and we have kids is he going to be able to provide like $350 to go to the $200 to go to the restaurant for a couple of happy meals for the kids without like being say oh, I'm broke? That women were kind of like a lifestyle and they want security. But no, this woman actually made so many complaints like her parents worked for the government again. And they said that we make so much, we make too much money in the woods basically. And I heard that from my boss at the beginning of the season that we're making too much money. We work too hard. Like toxic, making too much money. Why don't you do it? This is amazing. Why aren't women doing this? Well? So why men are weak is that they don't tell the truth. They don't. And then some woman come, another woman comes sit in front of me at the fishing camp. And she, she basically uh, said, uh, oh, I know your type. After a minute. I'm like, what type? You're a forestry guy. You don't care about women. I don't care about women. Uh, what's the problem? You don't believe in the equality between man and woman. I don't believe in what? No, you don't believe in. A, I, I got into trouble for uh, for hurting. My, I went to prison for my ex boyfriend because he was harassing me. I'm like, what did I do to you? If if I call the, if you call the cops, I go to jail one time. Like, can you say that that we have like control over you? What, well, you just sat in front of me and everybody started protecting her, man. The, the truck drivers that was at that fishing camp I was eating at, they started it protecting her. Men are weak. For what? For the, the, the idea that they might get pussy? Yeah, I had that idea when she sat, sat in front of me, but after a minute, I think uh, the decoy uh, was actually, was, was like a uh, like trap, you know? The next morning, came home, she uh, went, I went to uh, get breakfast. She uh, went into the kitchen, they let her take a knife into the kitchen, hid into a room and says, if you come here, I'm gonna stab him, I'm gonna fucking kill him. She stabbed my shoes in front of me. <laughs> Two shoes stabbed. And then she stabbed my, my, one of my truck tires and everybody watched me, everybody looked at me and um, they were trying to get me angry. 30 minutes, an hour later, I was kind of like, sad because of the the budget didn't go through and all these things are happening which i don't understand and i think that i don't deserve it the camp owner jacques from lunan he came and he came around my truck and i said i'm not i'm I, 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 what's happening is i don't take a misogynist like you here what did i fucking do i'm not i'm, not, I'm getting the fuck out of here what the fuck is your problem the guy started attacking me literally started blocking the way for me to uh, making it impossible so I can't go get my stuff from the fishing camp because I'm working and he, this guy wanted to catch some beach beef with me so I get my stuff out and the guy still wants to fight with me you know so then he starts blocking the way so I can't go out 
And then he starts following me 150 kilometers on the fucking dirt road. I think I'm going to get killed at that point. So I call the cops when I get back. And they, they don't want to press charges on the woman. So why men are weak? Is the police officer is weak? The, the guy uh, started punching me is weak. The people that protected that lady that wanted to stab me with a knife is weak. So fuck that, man. You guys are fucking weak men. That's why I'm alone in the woods. That's why you don't play guitar. That's why you don't run 20 kilometers on the fucking fly. That's why you don't go backpack. And once you do it, you say, you never did it. You know, I'm better than you. I did it alone. Blah, blah, blah. You don't know nothing about bushcraft. I, that's what I've heard last time from a, one of my friends. I know nothing about bushcraft. I teach people the wrong skills and I just, what, what's my YouTube channel? And the guy's French Canadian, probably never. So that, I mean, guys, you're fucking weak. You can't handle somebody. You can piss people off, but you can't handle when he's pissed. You know, you can't tell the truth to a woman because what? She's going to call the cops. She's going to, oh, you can't take those vaccines, right? You don't want to take these vaccines. So if you don't do it, your wife is going to leave you. You're weak. You should just leave her and tell her, go, go, go find your, the guy that you've been talking to for the last two years on internet when you were hiding and, in the bed sheets talking to a stranger that I don't you know what I mean like men have to tell the how they feel so we can get input to know we're wrong we're right or we shouldn't tell people that because they don't give a shit at least you can tell them but I'm trying to see who wants to talk and I come back from work and it's impossible to talk at the bars it's an undercover next to you I don't understand. You go to a, the next bar, it's a bunch of 16 years old, the Coke dealer and the music, you can't hear anybody. It's a small town. And I'm like, where's the normal people? And then, uh, I mean, everything is fucked up. Everybody's jacked up. That's why we love the woods. That's why I'm here. But pe people now are fucking jealous of my lifestyle. How come he has this truck? How come I'm trying to be happy? I'm trying to be proud of myself. I work hard. So why wouldn't I do it? Why? Am I going to die and say, oh, I should have done it? Come on. You guys are weak.